musician and actress Queen Latifah's debut hip-hop album, All Hail to the Queen, sold more than 1 million copies, and the single UNITY earned Latifah her first Grammy Award in 1995. Latifah has also garnered acclaim for acting, earning her first Oscar nomination for her performance in the 2002 blockbuster musical Chicago, and an Emmy nod for her portrayal of blues singer Bessie Smith in the 2015 film Bessie. Queen Latifah was born Dana Elaine Owens on March 18, 1970, in Newark, New Jersey. The second child of Lance and Rita Owens, Latifah is best known for her social politics acting skills and gift for rhyme. When she was eight years old, a Muslim cousin gave her the nickname Latifa, meaning delicate and sensitive in Arabic. Latifa began singing in the choir of Shiloh Baptist Church in Bloomfield, New Jersey, and had her first public performance when she sang of one of the two Dorothys in a production of The Wizard of Oz at St. Anne's Parochial School. In her first year of high school, Latifa began informal singing and rapping in the restrooms and locker rooms. In her junior year, she formed a rap group, Ladies Fresh, with her friends Tangy B and Landy D in response to the formation of another young women's group. Soon the group was making appearances wherever they could. Latifa's mother was a catalyst, she was in touch with the students and the music. She invited Mark James, a local disc jockey known as DJ Mark the 45 King, to appear at a school dance. The basement of James's parents' house in East Orange, equipped with electronic and recording equipment, became the hangout of Latifa and her friends, who called themselves the Flavor Unit. James, who was beginning a career as a producer, gave a demo record of Queen Latifah's rap Princess of the Posse to the host of Yo! Fred Braithwaite, professionally known as Fab Five Freddy. The recording captured the attention of Tommy Boy music employee Dante Ross, and in 1988 the label issued her first single, Wrath of My Madness. The track met with a positive response, affording Latifah the opportunity to launch a European tour and to perform at Harlem's famed Apollo Theater. The next year, Latifah released her first album, All Hail to the Queen, which went on to sell more than one million copies. The artist followed in 1991 with Nature of a Sista, featuring the single's Fly Girl, how do I love thee and Latifah's had it up to here. Meanwhile, she displayed an interest in investment, putting money into a delicatessen and a video store. Realizing that there was an opening for her in record production, Latifah organized and became chief executive officer of the Flavor Unit Records and Management Company, headquartered in Jersey City, New Jersey. In 93, the company had signed 17 rap groups, including the very successful Naughty by Nature. In 1993, Latifah recorded a jazz and reggae-influenced album titled Black Rain. It sold more than 500,000 copies, while the catchy single UNITY earned Latifah her first Grammy Award in 1995. She followed in 1998 with her fourth studio effort, Order in the Court, which was notable for being her first album to sport a parental advisory warning for explicit lyrics. Latifah branched out from hip-hop to show her range as a singer with the Dana Owens album, 2004, which climbed to No. 16 on the Billboard 200 and earned a Grammy nomination for Best Jazz Vocal Album. Travelin' Light, 2007, fared even better on the pop charts and earned a Grammy for Instrumental Arrangement. Latifah then returned to her rap roots with Persona, 2009, though the response from critics. Turning to acting, Latifah made her big-screen debut in Spike Lee's interracial romance drama Jungle Fever, 1991. The following year, she appeared in the crime thriller Juice, with Omar Epps and Tupac Shakur. Latifah soon landed a leading role on the small screen, appearing in the sitcom Living Single, from 1993 to 98. The comedy, which also starred Kim Coles, Kim Fields, and Erica Alexander, proved to be a groundbreaking show. It remains one of the few sitcoms to focus on a group of African-American women. A talented performer, Latifah continued to tackle both comedic and dramatic parts. She co-starred in 1990's IXS Set It Off, with Jada Pinkett Smith and Vivica A. Fox, playing a lesbian bank robber. Two years later, Latifah teamed up with Holly Hunter and Danny DeVito for the comedy Living Out Loud. She also Washington and Angelina Jolie in The Bone Collector, 1999. 
Perhaps Latifah's most acclaimed film role to date came in the 2002 hit musical Chicago, starring Richard Gere, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Renee Zellweger. Her portrayal of prison matron Mama Morton gave her a chance to show off both her singing talents and acting skills. For her work in the film, Latifah earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Latifah went on to receive strong reviews for 2003's romantic comedy, Bringing Down the House, alongside Steve Martin. The following year, she experienced some disappointment with Taxi, which co-starred Jimmy Fallon. But she fared better with Beauty Shop, 2005, and her voiceover work in the hit animated film Ice Age, The Meltdown, 2006. In 2007, Queen Latifah again delighted moviegoers with her musical talents by appearing as Motormouth Maybell in Hair's Travolta. Her crime caper Mad Money, 2008, with Diane Keaton and Katie Holmes, received a colder reception. Returning to drama, Latifah gave a strong performance in The Secret Life of Bees, 2008. She also appeared on shows like 30 Rock and Single Ladies around this time and went on to co-star in the 2012 TV remake of Steel Magnolias, with Alfred Woodard, Felicia Rashad and Jill Scott. Having hosted a daytime talk show from 1999 to 2001, the entertainer sought to establish another version of the Queen Latifah show in the fall of 2013. Although the show was cancelled in early 2015, Latifah bounced back with a widely praised portrayal of legendary singer Bessie Smith in HBO's Bessie, garnering Emmy and Golden Globe nominations for her work. Late that year, she played the Wiz in the NBC production of the musical The Wiz Live. After co-starring in the 2016 family drama Miracles from Heaven, Latifah took on a leading role in the Fox musical drama Star, which aired for three seasons. The following year, Latifah joined the ensemble cast of the raunchy comedy Girls Trip, which proved a hit with fans. She also took on a weightier role in the lifetime drama Flint, about the water crisis in the Michigan City, for which she received an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress. In November 2019, Latifah resurfaced in ABC's The Little Mermaid Live, her performance as Ursula drawing praise as one of the highlights of the production. In addition to acting, Queen Latifah has served as a spokesperson for CoverGirl Cosmetics. She even has her own line with the company, The Queen Collection. Latifah's sexuality has been the subject of rumors over the years, but the Queen refuses to delve into such private matters. I don't have a problem discussing the topic, but I do have a problem discussing my personal life, she told the New York Times in 2008. I don't care if people think I'm gay or not. Assume whatever you want. You do it anyway. In March 2018, Latifah confirmed the death of her mother, following a long battle with a heart condition.